Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rita and thank you for stopping by to watch my video. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for the old subscribers who have been here for a while. So today's video is going to be a skincare favorite. I'm gonna do, I want to start doing a brand favorite on my channel. So everything I'm going to talk about is, I know it's skincare, but I have no, I'm not a dermatologist. I have no formal training in this. Everything I'm going to talk about is not from a professional point of view. It's from someone who is just sharing an experience or my experience with this product each and every product that i'm going to be talk about i've probably used for months and months so and some of them over so many years so i know for personally i'm from recommending to other people how they work and how they feel on the skin so please remember that when you're watching this you can do your own research more research and decide for yourself if you're going to use this or try this product or not so thank you for watching and i will see you soon Today's brand is going to be La Roche-Posay. I have used this brand for a very long time. If you followed me since when I used to blog, like when I had a website, a blog blog, I have used, <laughs> have talked about La Roche-Posay for a very, very long time because this is a brand that I really, really love. So I would classify La Roche-Posay as kind of not a high-end brand, but also not a drugstore brand. The first product I want to talk about is uh, Lipica Bome, the La Roche Posay Lipica AP Bome. I hope that I'm picking up right. I have very dry skin and I used to have like bad flare ups uh, during the winter time, especially because the air was so dry and I would just itch and itch and itch and I really, really needed something to help with my dry skin. This was one of the products that was in the price range that I could afford, but also was really, really good and did a lot of good for my skin. So I've used it for years and years, even before I had my baby. And then when I had my baby, uh, this is all that wouldn't irritate his skin. Literally every other baby products or baby creams or whatever was making him like she just, he would just have rashes. And this is the only thing that would be fine on his skin so we just stopped to using this since the day that he was born it's a balm so it's a bit heavy but not too heavy but if you don't this is quite empty because we, we ran out today and i wanted to go out to get some but i'm just gonna put a little bit behind my okay? so it's a balm it's a balm and if you don't like um it's gonna just uh sink into your skin like nicely you don't really need to do so much like look so it's literally a balm and it's thick it's thick it might be too thick for some people but i also feel like if you don't like the thickness they also have a variation of it that is like a light cream it's almost like gel but it's not it's like a light cream so if you don't like the heaviness of the cream you might want to try that one but then even though this is heavy it sinks into the skin really nicely it doesn't sit on your skin and it feels very moisturizing it relieves you almost instantly i also use this on my face on days in fact these days i use it every single day i used to use it when i felt like my skin needed that extra hydration especially after a night after after i apply retinol or the nights that i apply retinol i tend to use this a lot because it helps to apply a very nice uh thick very hydrating cream after retinol the second product i want to talk about is the la roche posay anthelios uv immune 50 sps 50 plus okay so this is the one now this product has two variations and within the two variations you can get 30 or you can get 50 spf personally because i use retinol and i use um glycolic acid and salicylic acid on my skin i do treatments on my skin throughout the week i stay away from anything less than 50 sps 50 because i want that maximum protection or else you're just basically undoing all the work that you're doing to kind of treat your skin and keep your skin young and stay away from anti-aging um, so all through the year i always only use sps 50 and i'm giving you a side eye i'm judging you yes i'm judging you if you only use spf when you see the sun okay you're supposed to use the spf every year every time of the year two if you're a black person and you think that because you have melanin you don't need red you don't need spf i'm judging you really <laughs> so yeah i use this all through the year and i probably go through three tubes or two of this in a month because i use it morning afternoon i don't care if the sun is out sometimes this is so moisturizing and i love this cream so much that 
when i don't feel like my skin needs so much i just apply this really like a moisturizer in the morning even if i'm not going out of my house the thing i love i love about this and i think a lot of excuse me a lot of the people who are watching me who are dark dark who are dark skin like me would be wondering okay will it, is it gonna leave me looking like a ghost no it really just just sinks into your skin and doesn't leave you like the first time you apply you feel like it's gonna leave you like a ghost and before you turn around it's gone leaves your skin feeling moisturized hydrated now i will be honest with you this is not like heavy duty hydration but this is good enough for normal to combination skin not extremely dry skin if you are very very dry and you need extra help with hydration and moisturizing you probably want to apply it your own moisturizing cream and then apply this after that but for me i'm not extremely dry so i use this as a moisturizer i choose this because then i don't have to layer so much especially on days when i'm wearing makeup i don't want to layer too much because then it will affect how my makeup looks sometimes this is amazing love this very good for sensitive skin my mom has sensitive skin and she i when she came i bought this i asked her to buy this and she loves it you can also use this on babies most of La Roche Posay uh, products, the thing I love about them is that it's created for sensitive skin in mind, created for to care for the skin, to be gentle on the skin and be kinder to the skin. So I really, really love how, I really love the idea of the brand. I also use this on my son. Uh, I have two Psycho, I have two products from the Psycho Plus line. Uh, the one of them is the lip balm. This, this lip balm. I know some people swear by Vaseline. I swear by Vaseline for like my baby's uh, diaper area. Like I only use that for his diaper area and he is, and that is the best thing to use. But I digress. But these on my lips, I tend to have really dry lips. I don't know why, maybe when I'm hydrated. I don't know, sometimes it just happens, right? This thing keeps my lips hydrated all day. At night, I apply before I go to bed. In the mornings, I apply it. Between the day, I always have one in my bag. I apply this just before my lipstick. It is honestly one of the best lip balms I've used. Now, I see there's a brand that I really want to try because everybody's talking about their lip balm and I want to try and compare it to this because right now, every lip balm, I'm going to be comparing it to this because this is one of the best lip balms I've ever tried and I've used them all, really. This went really viral on TikTok. I don't know why it's not uh, uh, focusing, but this went really, really viral on TikTok and everything and everybody was talking about it. And I wanted to try it. I wanted to try it and so I picked this up. Now, I wanted to give it a second, a second chance because I had picked it up before, tried it one night and dumped it. I have a love-hate relationship, but mostly love with this. The only bad thing I have to say about this cream is that it leaves a film, like it leaves a white cast on my face. The other day I wore it and my husband was asking me if I was still doing my skincare because I just came out from the bathroom after skincare, I sat down next to him and I was just white on my face. I don't know if this happens to like lighter skin girlies, but for us the darker skin, this leaves a white film and this is not great for um, daytime. So I basically use this at night um when i feel like my skin is feeling a bit sensitive i tend to get a bit sensitive around my nose here on this side of my face i tend to get a little bit sensitive there and at the back of my neck i don't know for some reason every time after retinol treatment or something sometimes i get sensitive at the back so i apply heavy film of this there apply here i used to put vaseline or some heavy cream and i would probably get some bumps or breakup but this doesn't leave any bump this is truly a repairing balm for me this is not a cream i will go out with this is not a i look good cream this is a i want to look good the next day cream or i want to feel good the next day cream because this does the repairing and soothing job perfect i'm not gonna lie hates that it leaves a white film but when i feel like my fin my skin is a bit sensitive and needs some gentle care extra gentle care this is who i go to now i also use this on my hands because i've been i've been really learning to take care of my hands a lot more my hand looks like 
10 years older than my age which is really terrible so i've been working really hard on my hand when i apply it on my hand it doesn't leave the film but when i apply it on my face it does leave the film so i don't know but it is being very good uh on my hands too it goes into my skin nicely and then it leaves my hand feeling silky not sticky but silky and i love that feeling so yeah this i love it i love the idea of a cream that does so many things depending on what you want it to do for you love the idea now the last thing i want to talk about i don't have a tube here and i don't have the container here and please don't be upset but <laughs> the reason why i want to talk about that because it's it's i'm talking about my all-time favorite uh la roche posay product and that's also an all-time favorite and I, I can't stop talking about that product it is the la roche posay um writing redemic r intensive it is their retinol cream okay so it's just 0.1 percent cream but it's created and formulated with sensitive skin in mind so it's for all skin type but sensitive skin can also use it that was my introduction to retinol so it has an eye um, version and also has the face version but uh, that was that is a great every single person that wanted to start retinol and i recommend that to them they went they continued using retinol because sometimes i feel like when you don't start with the right strength of retinol you can tend to get discouraged because of the side effects and all that even though it goes away but some people are not as patient but it's also very important to ease your skin into retinol because it's such a strong ingredient right that was my introduction to retinol and it was the best introduction because it was so gentle on my skin it was so moisturizing on my skin it sink into the skin really nicely and you will see the result literally in two weeks i saw the results in two weeks 0.1 percent of retinol in it it is amazing it also has caffeine in it i checked the uh, ingredient it also has caffeine in it and it is a very beautiful uh gentle place to start retinol the picture of course is going to be on the wall and it's going to be on the link so I, i'm just putting that there in case you are thinking of starting right now it is a good place to start so this is all i wanted to share with you guys today from the la roche posay brand let me know in the comment section if you have more products on la roche posay that you feel like should have made my list and you feel like i should have tried because i haven't tried all let me know in the comment section and i will see if i'm gonna try it and i would love for you to share your own um you know favorites and i'm gonna be doing this with a couple more brands so let me know if it's a series that you want to see thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye